Hello everyone, uh, this is me Hariram Ali. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to do basic configuration of Nano Station M2 as an access friends. So let's begin the configuration right here. First, plug in your power cables, connect M2 with your uh, Ethernet from PUA port, and connect your laptop on LAN port of M2 device. As we know, M2 comes with default management IP, uh, that is 192.168.1.20/24 subnet. So put any IP from this subnet to your laptop. So I will show you. Go to our properties, Internet Protocol version four. Uh, put any IP 192.168.1.1/24. Make sure that your M2 device is visible, uh, visible from your laptop. Yes, it is reachable. So browse any browser that you have. And it will ask for your username and password. Uh, default a username and password it's ubnt ubnt and password also same ubnt select your country and accept the license and term and condition logged in yes we are logged in uh, here you can see a uh, warning message uh, this is because we are using default username and password Uh, <coughs> this is the main page from here you can uh, you can see the model of device name uh, wireless mode SSID and everything also we can see your uh, CPU utilization memory utilizations and traffic utilization so today uh, I'm going to uh, configure this device as an access point so just click on our uh, wireless tab and here you can see your wireless mode and select a uh, access point and WDS should be enabled SSID so here you can change uh, the SSID of device mm. country Nepal mix mode channel but we can select our channel width frequency auto and security mode I will keep it as a none click on changes change okay just change the password type your current password U B N T and new password will be ubnt11 bntn and click on apply uh, after that make sure that after that click on this icon and your max should be checked so I have already checked click on network tab <coughs> from here you can uh, change uh, your network role now it is uh, configured as a bridge but just if you want to uh, make it as a router then just click on router and so it, it is also same uh, and uh, you can uh, configure the management network setting uh, you can give your uh, you give your 
kind as a DHCP or a static and go to a and go to our service menu from here uh, you can enable or disable uh, lots of uh, services on this device like NMS, NMS being web server, uh, web, web uh, server, telnet, dynamic D DNS, and so on. And last option is uh, system. From here, you can uh, upgrade your firmware, downgrade your firmware. Also, you can uh, <coughs> uh, take the updates uh, on online if if you ha if your device have uh, internet access. You can change the device names, time zone, and so on. And you can also uh, change the um, username of uh, your, uh, you know, uh, device. Uh, device, and uh, you can take a back off. Or you can take a back off uh, configuration of this uh, device, or else you just you can upload the configuration um, file from your PC to uh, this bo uh, this device from here also you can reset the con uh, configurations of this device okay uh, we have uh, configured uh, we have configured access point so let's check it out go to systems and just click on reboot do you want to really want to 